get a folks and swab here and I've got something a bit different for you today. Today I've got you some freaky forking carrots. So these guys here uh, all came, even though we've got an orange one here and a red one here, came from a packet of Chantenay or Chantenay, depending on where you're from and how you want to say it. Uh, now these guys here are supposed to be an orange carrot that grows straight and doesn't grow little limbs and little legs and things like that on them. Normally when a carrot um, grows these little appendages it's because the, the main root cannot grow straight down because the soil's hard and heavy or there's debris in there like rocks and, rocks and stones but I can guarantee you this soil is nice and light. It's um, a soil blend I've prepared previously with a load of sand uh, basically for growing carrots in it. Uh, generally grow a crop of carrots, feed it up with some um, sieve compost and then grow another crop and then carrots again. So if your soil is nice and loose and sandy like this one here and you're still having this forking problem, the reason could be due to a damaged tap root. Uh, generally what happens is that main root that goes down is what will form into the carrot. Now these guys here I happen to know were devastated by an army caterpillar when they were probably about oh, two to three inches tall or five to seven centimeters tall. Um, it came through here and knocked all of them out, took most of these little um, green furry bits off the leaves and just left stems. Some of them I had to stand back up again and I think that's what's caused the um, issue with these guys. I'd actually sewn out this barrel here to do a little bit of a demonstration on a couple of different methods I like to sow my carrot seeds but um, yeah it just didn't happen unfortunately they didn't quite grow properly to give you a look at the finished product so what we'll do is I'll stop nattering on and we'll pull a few of these guys out uh, first though if you haven't done so already hit that little subscribe button down there and you'll be brought along whenever we um, upload clips like this or hopefully not many clips like this or updates on our aquaponics and whatnot which victim should be number one I, I reckon this one here in the middle might just bring in a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, this one's not looking too bad. He's just got a couple of arms growing out the top of him. So not bad at all. We'll pop him in the basket. The next victims are just down here. Oh, these guys here, by the way, um, once they're harvested, they'll be blanched and then popped into the freezer to be used at a later date. Oh, this one's actually, we'll do this one here. It's a little bit easier to get out, I think. We're going to have to get them out as a couple. <laughs> well, there you go. So this one here's got a few things going on. It's got a couple of legs, a couple of arms, and some other appendages. And it's actually got a um, split going up one of the um, inside legs. And it looks to be the home of um, a few ants as well. Yeah, definitely has a few slight deformities on that one. Now this little red looking one. Oh, we've got a few little roots coming off the sides, up the top here and a nice long twisted taproot so looks a bit hairy as well but that's all right so we'll get these guys over this side now give them a bit of a wiggle oh this one's well and truly split so cracking like this on a carrot is generally caused by irregular watering Basically the bed dries out and then receives a load of water. Now I've only got myself to blame here because I do know there's been two occasions where I've missed water filling up this bed here. So that's quite likely to be the cause with this. Um, there's no nematodes or anything like this in the soil. Um, they'd give you obvious little bumps and lumps on the roots. So it's definitely an irregular watering issue I think. Um, it actually looks um, rather normal from this side. Just a, a little bit of puckering up here. A little bit of a... Um, an appendage there but yeah not much um, usable meat on that I don't think next victims are these this little cluster oh we just got a little shorty here a little shorty and behind it a little bit of a kink at the top and I mean they're still a nice size carrot really just accidentally pulled this one out in front of me here uh, a couple of little legs on him a little bit of a stumpy guy over here here we go <laughs> This one's been restricted. It looks like it could have grown a fork out there if left longer. This one up the back here. Oh, <laughs> definitely, definitely a little bit of a, uh, a split there. A little knobby bit on the top. And we've actually got a crack down the back here. So probably another victim of irregular watering. 
just moving around to the other side of the barrel to pick these guys and I thought I'd show you a couple of the volunteers we have in here we have some rabbit ear lettuce and some Chinese lettuce um, otherwise known as Celtus goes by a few other different names these guys here are just volunteers that have the seeds drifted in while I've been winnowing it um, from the chaff on the back stairs so these guys will be left alone and we'll get a bit of a harvest from them now this little fella here I don't know if you can see we'll zoom in and give you a closer look this one here actually has a little bit of a leg growing down there. He's well and truly done the splits, as well as a few splits there. And it's not very deep at all. Almost a 90 degree uh, angle there. Again, not a bad size carrot. It has got a little bit of damage in the side there. So I don't know if that's, um, looks like it might be some sort of caterpillar in there having a bit of a feast. Doesn't look like it's ants. I'll take these couple out together, I think. I oh, know. This one came out by itself. Another tripod. So I was trying to grow another little limb up the top there. And just another small one. Another little stumpy one. A motorbike. And just a couple more small ones from around the outside. So this was the smallest carrot that came out of the barrel. And I've lined the rest of them up just to give you some sort of an idea. Starting from the smallest and then working our way along. Definitely, yeah, a lot of deformed carrots there. Uh, some of them, like from about that carrot on, I'm pretty happy with that carrot on size-wise. I suppose that one would have been all right if you put all this energy into one root. So these guys definitely put on the size for the 16 weeks. They're just slightly deformed. And this one here would have to be the most deformed carrot I think we've ever grown. Um, that's just got a little bit of everything, the forking, the splitting. So um, pretty impressive. Uh, <laughs> Definitely, it's almost like a one, two, three, oh, four and a half carrots for the price of one, that one. Uh, this one here is pretty similar in size to a normal one we picked the other night for dinner. I'll call him normal. I mean, what is normal, really? Uh, bless you, Lizzie. And this one here, yeah, a little bit of a funky kink to him, a 90 degree angle. So, yeah, overall, I'm not too um, disappointed at all in the harvest. It's definitely given me a few giggles, that's for sure. So they're definitely some of the freakiest looking carrots that we've ever grown here in our small little backyard farm. I definitely think it's the, the fault of those little caterpillars that disturbed the main roots while they were young. So I've also done a bit of a soft launch for our new website through the week. It's bitsoutheback.com www dot in front of it of course it is a work in progress and you can find the link in the description and also i'll we'll try and swing it so there's one at the end of the clip as well now it's going to be primarily somewhere for us to hold uh, a blog um, some info sheet downloads some fact sheets and that sort of thing some articles and also an e-commerce store so far i've redirected my blog store over there so i've got the root pouch ordering information along with the uni seal ordering information there uh 15 off the uni seals for you folks in australia for a limited time as well check out the site if you want to find out more um, so hopefully over the next two to three weeks i'll have some more content up there so the link is in the description if you want to suss it out and i'll try and swing it so there's a button at the end of the clip as well um, i suppose that's pretty much all it lizzie's waiting patiently beside me to go for a walk I do hope you've enjoyed the look at these freaky carrots and I will catch you next clip. Cheers all, have a top one. Checking out this little polyculture bed in our backyard farm. We've got warrigal greens, collards, perennial leeks, broccoli, cauliflower. I've noticed we're starting to get a couple of holes in some of the leaves, the warrigal greens there. Something's taken off half of a cauliflower leaf. And then I stumbled across this little fella. Fairly sure he's the culprit. Come on matey, on your bike, bugger off.